Hey guys, so I got another video today with the uh, headlights on the Freelander. This is another one that I'm doing working with uh, Car Mod Shop. So I'll leave a link to this at the end as well. So yeah, big thank you to them for helping me out with this one. So let's see what we're doing. Hey guys, yeah, so uh, this is what we're going to be putting on the uh, Freelander today. So this is a brand new type of LED they've just released. Um, these are made to go in headlights like what we've like what I've got in the Freelander that don't have the um, projector and maintain the beam pattern whilst having an LED without needing the fan or anything else on the back. So these just basically effectively go straight in if you've got a H7 bulb. Obviously before I did the uh, HID kit, so I played around with my wires a little bit. So what I'm going to be doing is just putting one quickly in my uh, dad's discovery, just to show how they go in really, really simply if you've got a standard sort of H7 setup. And then I'm going to go into doing it on mine after and showing you how to adapt from a HID into this. Uh, so yeah, let's crack on and see what we're doing. Okay, so this is what a standard sort of H7 should look like in the back of your headlights. So you've just got these two little wires going in here and sort of a little uh, sort of bracket, sort of clampy bit that goes into the back of the bulb. As you see, there's just the two prongs, which matches what we've got on the back of the other bulb. So yeah, let's quickly get this one out and uh, we'll have a look at the other bulb in there. This is a standard halogen bulb and then effectively it should just pull out. And then the new one, just go in the same way. So you're making sure that that little uh, prong at the top goes into the same bit. Speed up. And we'll just push in like so, and then just click back into the housing as it was before. So that's the bulb back in, really quick, simple, two second job. Uh, it looks exactly like it did as standard. It doesn't need any kind of adaptation at all. So let's get it back on and see what it looks like. So on the passenger side here, it will be the LED. On this side here will be the standard halogen. So yeah, uh, if we get those turned on, straight away I can see a massive difference. I don't know if the cameras pick up the difference in the color there, but if I come into here, it is crystal white. It kind of shows it in there and how bright it is as well. If I come across to here, you're gonna see how yellow that one is in comparison. Uh, you know, I'm going to try and move, let it adjust so it picks up the white in there and the yellow there. And you can instantly tell when you're down level how much more light that one is emitting than the standard halogen. So just with standard halogens, definitely, definitely worth the upgrade. I can tell it straight away. So I won't be able to road test it with my dads because they're going to end up going in the Freelander. But just shows you the difference there it is crystal white in comparison to that halogen bulb. So big big difference definitely worth it let's get them in the freelander okay so this is what i'm running on my one at the moment so i had the hid upgrade kit so we've got the ballast and the wires going in through the housing there so what we're going to be doing is removing all of this even though it's great fun fitting it and uh effectively we're going to be going back to almost a stock fitment effectively i am going to have the hole in the back of the caps i'm probably going to buy new uh caps after this but what i'll probably do in the meantime is put a 25 mil uh, grommet in there because obviously we're gonna have the hole. I don't want water going in, so I've got a 25 mil grommet, so I'll just chuck those in there after once I've done the video. Um, but for now, it's just gonna be uh, opening this up and taking all this ballast kit out. Okay, so this is the uh, HID out. So there's the HID bulb. Here's the extra wiring coming through into the ballast and the starter on these ones. Like I said, we're gonna be removing all of that, and what I'll probably do is this is the original wiring here. I'm probably going to extend it and use some of this to extend those wires when I put the spades back on them for uh, for the new bowls because obviously these had to be cut a little bit short to get rid of the ends. So I'll probably take all this tape off, extend it up into here, and then rewrap it again and make it nice and neat. And then the spades on the end into the back of the new bulbs and then back into the standard fitment. So let's remove all the bits. Okay, so what I've done is I've pulled through as much of the cable through that uh, grommet as I can. Because like I say, I want to get these as long as I can, because that's what's going to go into the back of the bulb. And the longer I've got, the easier it's going to be to get those spades onto the end and then back onto the bulb and into the housing. So I'm going to cut those there. It should then allow that to pull away. So effectively, this is now going to be my new wiring that goes to the back of the bulb. So when you saw that housing on the back of the H7s in the uh, Discovery there, Effectively, instead of that housing block, I've now just got two wires that I can put spades on. So it's the same concept, just a slightly different way of doing it. And uh, now it's going to basically cut free the rest of the uh, HID kit. So that is no longer a requirement. Okay, 
right so this should all just lift away now so that was literally you know all the wiring we don't need Move over here. so what i've done is i've just separated the ballast kit away from those two bits in there and again that just leaves us with the extra bit that was there what i'll do is i'll just pull that through no longer needed And we're back to the original housing where I'm going to put the grommet on it in a bit. So, yeah, now it's just going to be cutting the wire down on these to expose a bit of the wire for me. Okay, so I know this seems like a lot of faff, but uh, what it means is, I mean, what it means is we've now got extra long wire that's going to be much easier to get to the back of the bulb with, rather than trying to mess around with these tiny little bits that have been left over. Okay, so the next part is just me getting the uh, bulb in there, which is just like putting in a normal halogen H7 bulb, and making sure that line up goes across there. There we go. So there it is in there now. So hopefully the camera can see it. So the bulb is just down in there as it would normally be. And now this is going to be connecting the, uh, the prongs from these just onto the back of the bulb. Okay, so that is the uh, two wires just in the back of the bulb there. So you can see dust down in there. Got two uh, spades onto the uh, bulb. Obviously I'll connect, I'll uh, put some black tape around these and then we'll, uh, well, first I'll just test if they work whilst holding these apart and then uh, black tape it up and put the case on the back. So now for the same thing we did on the disco, so that's going to be the LED, that's going to be the HID. So if we turn them on now, uh, so the HIDs might take a few seconds to warm up, but uh, yeah, if we get those on, yep. Oh, <laughs> you can't figure out my lights. Yep. There we go. So the biggest difference is that whiteness again. So even those HIDs are incredibly bright. I'd say the brightness is about the same, although it looks a bit different on the camera. Uh, it's a lot more blue in those HIDs, and I know they're still warming up, but that is crystal white. Even inside the light, it is unbelievable. Um, and it's definitely, like you say, the, the HIDs is reflecting more light. You know, even though it was more focused before, than the H than standard HIDs, you can still see where it's reflecting around inside there. The LEDs just perfectly crystal right in where it needs to be. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Super, super white and super clear. When you compare it over to those HIDs, you know, you know, night driving is just going to be completely transformed. So that's a win. Let's do the other one. Yeah, so we've just put the electrical tape on there, just separating them out. Um, not the neatest, but it does the job. Um, and so we're going to put those, I'll tuck that in now and put the cap on it. And that's one side done. Cap back on, all the wiring's tucked nicely inside. And as you can see, I've got some very nice, uh, it's on the fin there, uh, blue tape on there. The grommets I bought with me, uh, it seems to have disappeared. So I've got some more at home, so I'll do that when I get back. But uh, that is one all done, all back in. Basically look back to looking stock, other than the blue tape. I'm going to replace these caps at some point anyway. Uh, but yeah, one done down to LED. Now just the other side. Okay, so this is on the uh, other side. My original joins held together much better. That's where I cut the wire originally. Uh, these joins held much well together much better on this one, so I didn't have to do like a sort of double spaded joint and then this. I've just been able to keep it right up all the way to here. So like I said, I cut off um, as much of this wire as I could coming through the grommet all the way out, which makes it really easy to splice it to this whilst up here and makes it really easy to work with when we put the bulb straight back into there and like I said, I've got the HID and everything out of this one already so now it's literally just going to be putting the new bulb on there putting it in and we're done okay so I do apologize it's a bit more difficult to film this uh this side but uh yeah as you can see the bulb's back in there exactly like a normal bulb would be and I was just putting these two on there so I can't record much uh with this side okay so uh yeah that's it all back together again please uh ignore the uh gap I will be replacing both the dust caps on this uh, I'd actually find some extended ones uh, which are quite nice online so uh, just for now, just to get you guys showing what you uh, what you need to do, that's that one done. So let's go out and road test them. Okay, so just thought I'd do a quick demo whilst I was out on the driveway. Both of them now on and working. Yeah, 
absolutely crazy how bright those are. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, like I say, not not excessively bright in terms of, I, I don't know there's a huge amount of difference in the brightness between these and the HIDs. I'd imagine there probably is. The difference is that clarity, how white they are. That's the big difference. The big difference is just how white that light is. You know, there is, well, there is no color in there at all. So yeah, we'll be really interested to see how this does at night. Uh, let's go see how it does. Hey guys, so uh, just before we go into the road test, um, I did actually go for a quick night drive uh, with just that dip beam on, and I found that I liked it so much I actually went back to Car Mod Shop and uh, I actually bought six more pairs of them. So I actually went out with my money, bought six more pairs, and I bought it to do my full beam. Uh, I converted my spotlights to the LEDs as well, so I cut out all the, all the innards and replaced them with the LEDs. Uh, I did the wife's car and the mum's car. Uh, so all of them now have those because I was that impressed. So it's just something to think about going into this video. Uh, unfortunately, I was looking to uh, record uh, the fitting those into those cars and doing road tests in them. Uh, I, I did record it, but unfortunately I switched my phones, which I use for my camera, and uh, I lost all the footage. So I kind of apologise to Car Mod Shop uh, that I lost all of that footage because I was really looking forward to sort of showing the three different cars and how easy it was to do it in all of them and showing the comparisons at night because I know the missus had the HIDs on the low beam and I obviously converted that to the LED now. So it was just um, a bit of a shame that I lost all that footage. I had bits and pieces. I should have checked properly as I was, you know, swapping the phones over, um, you know, because it, it was really good. And I got bits and pieces, but not really enough to cobble anything together out of. But I've still got the Freelander uh, night drive where I use the dip beam, full beam and the spotlights now. And I also go off road in a little bit just so you can see it off road. Uh, so it's my first lane in a while. Uh, it's really good fun. Mega overgrown. Um, so you can, <laughs> don't get much of the range on there because it was crazy overgrown. But it really shows just how white that light is on these new bulbs. Uh, and it really, really, really made a difference whilst off roading. Um, you know, having that crystal white against the green, etc., just made it super clear, which I was really, really happy with. Um, and again, just sorry the car mod shop has taken so long. It took me about a week and a half, two weeks, to try and sort of see if I could record more footage and try and get something together. And I just couldn't do it. Um, so sorry to those guys. They've been a massive help for me getting all these out and all this sorted for me. Uh, and I really like their, their stuff as well. It's super good quality, it's really easy to fit, um, and, a, and a really nice, easy sort of you know, result, really. You know, you don't have to do much and you get a really big improvement. You know, when one's Freelander, um, that was a Freelander 2, um, even decent bulbs and that were like glow worms in a jar. Um, you know, they were useless, so it's really, really made a difference for her. And you know, she's a carer. So she goes out late at night doing all the rounds, etc. So it's made a massive difference for her night driving. So, you know, I really appreciate that from Car Mod Shop to, you know, help me out with this. So hope you like it. I'm going to do a quick night drive now. Um, hope you enjoy it. And like I say, see you on the next one. Okay, hopefully you can see me on the camera. Uh, so I'm back out in the Freelander and I've got the LED lights in. Um, it's not quite as dark as when I tested the HIDs, which kind of sucks. Uh, but this is as late as I can get out with uh, now having the little one and uh, everything else going on at the moment. Um, you know, this, is, this is as late as I can get out at the moment. Uh, and I do want to apologise to Car Mod Shop as well. It's taken me a long time <laughs> to get out as well. So uh, yeah, I do apologise about that. But uh, I'm out now and I'm using the LEDs. So this is just dip beam. Um, and the first thing I'm noticing with these in comparison to the HIDs is that they're actually whiter even again. So when I looked at the difference between those uh, HIDs and the halogens, it was how much whiter the light seemed. Uh, and it's actually even more so now. Uh, even at this time of night where you know lighting isn't great, um, I am really noticing that you know down in all this brush area here, I'm getting a lot more clarity than I did before. Um, especially in comparison to those halogens and there's no bluing effect from the lights like I got with the HODs even when they had warmed up there was still that slight hint of that bluing um, so even a dip beam there is a huge difference uh, which I'm really impressed at but uh, like I said in the video I did actually manage to get a hold, well, I got hold of them again and uh, just spin around here actually because uh, let's go around and indicate the right If you can see in front now, and just how white that light is on that brush there. So, uh, yeah, so I actually got a hold of them again because I was so impressed with these and I loved having them on there. 
having these like this and then going to a halogen four beam, it just made no sense. I, I couldn't see a thing. I'd switch to four beam and have less vision. So I went to four uh, to, uh, to uh, four beam with these as well. So that's the four beam now, which is incredible in comparison to before. Um, you know, even this time of night, like I said, with not very much lighting, it's so much further. Um, you know, and I don't feel like, I'm, like it's too high up. I don't think it's like it's blinding people, but it's just keeping that clarity over that longer distance without basically spreading light everywhere, which is a huge difference, especially when driving at night. Whereas I have driven at night, and it does make a huge difference when it's pitch black for someone like me, who you know doesn't have the best night vision as it is. Let's just slow down and let this chat pass. There you go. And uh, I was actually doing a separate video. But I did also convert the spotlights to LEDs as well. So I might try and turn in here. I believe this is where the green lane is. Yes. Where's the entrance? Just because it's a bit covered, it might be a bit better for lighting. Uh, I've gone past it. <laughs> Hopefully you can see a bit of difference here compared to my last few videos and if I go to full beam Infinite difference there infinite difference um, I'm also noticing quite a bit of difference with the power flex mounts I've done recently <laughs> um, How much more firm it all feels, but yeah Incredible difference and like I said, I did actually swap over the LEDs from um, the spotlights from HID to LED so I will be doing a separate video for that, and I will do a separate full review of the lights, but suffice to say, they are very bright. And it's instant power. So whereas the HIDs had to warm up, this is just boom, instant power, full beam in front, and the vision is incredible with them. Absolutely incredible. So very, very impressed by that. And like I say, even dip beam here, with all the brush in the way and everything else is perfectly lighting up in fine buff, it'd be fine. It's a lot more overgrown than last time. So this is full beam now. Let's have a look. Yeah, that clarity there is incredible through those spotlights now. Like I say I'll do a full proper review, but I mean, you know, it just goes to show you here anyway. Just how much difference it makes having those LEDs. So yeah, really, really impressed. So I'll probably just uh, put some music on now or something and just do the rest of this lane music might as well so uh, hope you enjoy this one really 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 recommend car mod shop for these bulbs like I say if you haven't done what I did and had the HODs it is just a straight swap for your standard H7s super simple install um, and amazing great results straight away so I'll put a link to them down in below but uh, yeah let's get on with the lane
hope you uh, enjoyed that one and uh, see you next time.